it is hard for my little brain to process all we have learned this week about the irregularities, the abnormalities, the illegality uh, that has come from this uh, uh, this administration. We are 50 some odd days from the election and the evidence continues to grow about the fact that Donald Trump is not the man for this job. When Donald Trump, Ali, talked about how he can go into Fifth Avenue and shoot someone and not suffer consequences, he has basically driven a Mack truck through America with this pandemic and is responsible for the deaths of almost 200,000 individuals. And it is going to be on the conscience of the American people whether they're going to reelect him. When we talk about the faces of 200,000 people, my grandmother sadly lost her partner of 38 years and she was not able to hold his hand. And my family is not digitally connected. Mm. And so she wasn't even able to hold a memorial service over Zoom. She was only given his ashes in the middle of a plaza in Sonoma and she was taken and they were taken back to her home. That was all she was able to grieve him. These are real American stories with every single person that we talk about, sadly, as essential workers who are disproportionately getting uh, getting beat up. When we talk about the Latino community, where there are multiple generational families, where we're talking about families that are losing their mothers, we're leaving orphans in the wake. The fact that the president at his disposal in February, when he knew that we could actually protect ourselves through masks, the only protection that we knew was reliable, he stigmatized it. So he was directly responsible for this co- the cause of death. Instead of actually providing solutions and actually rolling up his arm, rolling up his sleeves and trying to provide us with roadmaps, he created nonsense confusion. And in doing so, so many needless lives were affected because it's not just the loss of life, but also the loss of income, the loss of ability. I had a friend of mine today. He sent me a picture from his two daughters that were going into going to Spain to school for the first day. I, in the meantime, and millions of American parents right now, we are Zooming indefinitely because we don't know when we can actually send our child back safely to expose them possibly to COVID and other things. And that is the challenge in this presidency. It's not, it's not that it's he's incompetent, it's malpractice. And we have to be, speak very plainly and very clearly that it is malpractice that he's put us in the precipice of not just massive destruction of lives, but also a gr- possible Great Depression, while at the same time feeding into the largest civil unrest in, in close to 50 years. And he just adds fuel to the fire because last week I had this woman named Marcia Gessen, uh, Masha Gessen on, and she is an expert on Putin. And she said that one of the things that Putin does quite well yeah. to ensure his reelection is anxiety. And that is what this president knows how to perpetuate quite well.